controlling the tip. Donovan Gregory brings it down, gives it to Miles Tate, and here we go. South Alabama opening up in a man-to-man -man defense. You look at the starters, Donovan Gregory, Miles Tate, Justin Abson, Terrence Harkum, and Trayvon Spillers, who has been a big, big addition to this App State offense. See Kaiser early on Gregory. That'll be a matchup to watch. Number 11 is the score for the black and gold. Shot no good by Spillers as South Alabama gets the rebound. Starters for the Jags, it'll be Turbo Jones, Isaiah Gator, Julian Margrave, Thomas Howell, and Ethan Kaiser, the starting five for the Jags. Both of these teams excellent in the half court with their spacing, dribble drive opportunities, and a lot of shots from the perimeter. Margrave's three, that's a good shot from the perimeter. You called it, partner. Jags on top, three nothing. Well, one of the reasons both these teams don't turn it over a whole lot is because the spacing is so good. They're always in the right place, and there's that high release that we've seen from Margrave to start for the Jags. And there's a turnover as some miscommunication as Abson throws it away. And now here comes IG, Gator outside to Turbo. He'll take a three-pointer on the way and good. Turbo for three. Picked up where they left off in the second half in Virginia this weekend. A 39-23 second half to claim that victory. And now two for two from deep. And because of how physical App State is defensively, this is what South Alabama has to do, right? They've got to be able to attack the rim and get some shots outside as well. Yeah, inside out because App State is going to be harder to score on to your point partner at the rim. So South Alabama is going to need to make 10, 11 threes tonight um, to stay in this game and pull out a W. Spillers puts App State on the board. Now South Alabama looking for the answer on the other end. Good defense there by Harkham working on Gator. Doesn't give him any space at all. There's Margrave. Shot clock at five. Turnaround Ooh, jumper contested, and it's good. Ooh. How about that shot by Julian Margrave? How about that? You got to like the tickling of the twine early by Margrave on the fadeaway as we have a nice little visit here from Miss Paula coming in to say hey. A nice feed underneath for App State. Shot no good, though, by Abson. Knocked out of bounds, last touch by. It's in the half court and protecting the rim collectively as a group. He is stuck with this man, not going a lot of zone the last couple of games. Coach Riley's happy with how the team and White is guarding. Howell with the handoff to Gator. Good defense there by App State, staying in their man-to-man -man defense as well. There's Howell along the right baseline. Turn around jumper, good. How about that shot by Thomas Howell? They like the matchup outside the block for Howell and Margrave with the link to step out about 15 feet and get some baskets. Good defense again, there's the pitch outside. You'll see that a lot from App State. And Terrence Harkham able to drill the three, cuts the deficit to five. South Alabama though, four for four from the field. Margrave trying to make it five for five. There's the first miss for South Alabama. Good rebound by Trayvon Spillers. And here comes App State. Mm. Oh, that's a great dish underneath. And the flush by Justin Abson. Ooh. And it's 10-7. And Howell just rolled his ankle under this basket. Let's see you see him limping back. One of those plays got caught up under the rim. We'll to check on number 13, but yeah, great play. Good dish, good finish for the Mountaineers. Howell to Turbo. Not much space to work with. Turbo will drive left side, gets around him, off the glass and in. That's a great physical move by Turbo Jones. I guess one of the best defenders, Donovan Gregory, he's a two-way player, is number 11. And nice left hand, used, it up, used his upper body, did Turbo to get the finish. And there's Gregory, too high off go. the backboard. I like South Alabama in early transition here before the defense gets set up. Gator behind the back creates separation. It's good. Isaiah Gator, his first two of the game. Partner, it's amazing what confidence could do, huh? We saw the game in, at Old Dominion, and, and South Alabama couldn't get anything going early. Now picking up again, as we said, where they left off, everything going in for the Jags. Jags knock it out of bounds. It'll be App State if you do that. Well, those looks are open as well, except for the finish by Turbo with the left hand. The dribble drive offense to either finish at the rim or create those open threes for the Jags, clicking on all cylinders early here at the Mitch. C.J. Huntley in for App State. The pass. Again, another great dish inside as Trayvon Spillers with the flush. He's got four. Young kids out there, when you penetrate and get to two feet, the bounce pass typically works in traffic, and it was a great one there by the App State guard. Nobody wants to do that bounce pass either, do they? No, I mean, it's just it's a pocket pass, and before the defender gets there, um, it's got to be quick, and it's got to be on point. Turbo Jones, another dish off the glass. 
16-9. Man, he's playing well, and he played so well in the second half. You're seeing the senior leadership and experience of these Jag guards show up early in this game at home. Good adjustment by Terrence Harkham to get the errant pass. I'm trying to get tied up by Gator, gets it away to Miles Tate. 10 on the shot clock for App State. Mountaineers down kick seven. Ball. Now a kick ball. Man. Numerous final fours between Joe Lindsay and Mike Nance. Good to see those guys. Caught a lot of my games back in the day. I told him I was glad I wasn't playing today or because flopping's not legal. <laughs> Are you, you saying see you Jeff? flopped? No way. It was, um, you had to get away with something if you're going to play under six foot. Bart Heich, part of that 96 final four team at Mississippi State. We'll have a shooting contest between me and you. You want it? I'm in. Yeah, Bring I'm your wallet. I need to, yeah, I need to be quiet. <laughs> Isaiah Cater, <laughs> turn around, is. jumper, no good. Rushed it, rushed it just a little. I like IG down there, but Pat, he didn't get that, that left foot all the way 180 degrees, and that's why that little hook was long. Tate with the dish to Gregory. Working on Smurf Millinder, who's new into the ball game for South Alabama. Pass mishandled, but Tate able to track it down. Still plenty of time on the shot clock. And Tate amongst the trees, mm. gets it around Howell and off the glass. Plays a lot bigger than he is, can shoot the three, and you see number 12 right there, Miles Tate, the Butler transfer, getting to the rim. Gator for three, too short off the front of the iron. Rebound tracked down by Harkham and App State. Trying to cut into that five-point deficit. There's Gregory flying to the basket. He's fouled, and Donovan line. Foul goes on Margrave, his first. That was the first foul of the ball game, period. As you see the nice touch by Donovan Gregory, and he didn't get a chance to play last game against ULM, but Brown back into the lineup, as is, we understand Jordan Marsh should be available for App State as well. Should be available, and Coach Richie Riley here going big. Went small at ODU with the three-guard lineup with Smurf Millinder, Turbo Jones, and IG, and now Millinder is going to be at the point you're going to have Tabe over on the wing and Kaiser at the three with the two bigs. So a big lineup now to match the bigs of App State and the length. Margrave, turnaround Ooh. jumper on the way, no good. Good box out by Spillers. And here comes App State. South can't afford some of those droughts and lulls that we've seen throughout the course of the year here at home. And Alderaan down and play the speed that they needed him to play with. And obviously, he figured something out up in Norfolk, Virginia. Well, he has. He is a candidate for the all-hair team as well, <laughs> and I love the headband. But they're able to play through him, too. He can catch it, dribble a couple of – take a couple of dribbles, hand off, roll to the basket. He's a good ball screen defender, number 20, playing well for the Jags last Brown couple of weeks. the dish inside. Spillers can't get it to go, but the follow is there. And all of a sudden, we got a one-point ball game. The length the black and gold there of nice take. We might have walked. Yep, Tabe did. It was a good move, but then got caught up right under the basket. So that's the first turnover by South. App State has two. And as we wind down under 13 minutes, App State trying to tie it up or take the lead, and they do. First lead of the ball game for the Mountaineers. Getting downhill and attacking are the guards of App State, finding the bigs and just catch and finish real quick with the lack of rim protection for South Alabama. May see some zone from Coach Richie Riley if that continues. There's a jump ball. Back into the lineup after missing the game against ULM. Got him. Tabe alone, but good recovery by Spillers. Tabe, second effort, no good. And App State trying to add to the lead on the run. They got numbers, four on three. Kick ball. That's good defense for South Alabama. They did not have the numbers. Play there, just a simple cross screen to get Tabe at the basket. Fumbled the ball a little bit, wasn't able to finish. And here's another good inbounds play. Spillers off the glass. Left hand. Trayvon tough, Spillers has 10. 19-16, Spillers with 10 already. 8-0 run right now for the Mountaineers. Jags over their last five, scoring drought over Cut. three minutes, but Isaiah Gator will stop that, and the Jags now within one. Oh, the quickness. Ooh. Wow. Jordan Marsh did not hesitate, and nobody <laughs> stopped him. Don't collect $200 when you pass go. Get to the rim. Under 12 here, first half. Millinder with the nice drive and the throw. floater and the roll. Marcus Millinder, his first points of the ball game. See that stretched kind of Euro step there by Millinder on that opposite foot. He can finish with either hand. Dynamic when he gets downhill is number four. 
Marsh the double team. Oh yeah, on the floor. Roll it. There's Gator on the floor, gets it away to Kearing, to Millender. Numbers. Good defensive stand by the Jags. Now Turbo trying to finish, yeah, hit. drives to the lane, he's fouled. And Turbo will go to the free throw. Most players out there, have your hands up and ready so you can catch the ball and finish quickly like number 24. Tyrell Jones, good, now a chance to take the lead for South Alabama. And it's perfect. So Jags now back on top, 22-21. They'll go back. You don't see a whole lot of full court pressure from South Alabama defensively. No, you don't. And now all of a sudden you see Ormiston come in the game, rotating those bigs, trying to stay fresh against the bigs of App State. Nice back cut here, had him. Jones on the other end, Ooh, has the turbo. defender turn around, but how about the play by Xavion Brown, able to save the ball defensively. Really was trying to pitch the ball ahead, saw someone up in the distance, but wasn't able to get a handle on the ball. And that may be, you know, missed the last game with the knee, trying to get his timing back, one of those early plays. He'll get the feel. Jags on top, 22-21. Millender with the drive, uh, turn around with the man all over him. Good defense by Jordan Marsh and Christopher Manis able to get the defensive rebound for App State. Yeah, got to get a hand up on this end on Manis. He's a 40% three-point shooter, likes the corners. There is Manis for three. You called it, but he's short. And Elijah Ormiston with the rebound gets it up quickly to Gator. Top. And it is Ormiston for three. Yes, Elijah Ormiston. IG doesn't get enough credit for how deep he penetrates. Number two in white, when he gets to the inner part of that lane where the SBC is, he's always gonna find a shooter. Look at Howell out front. Savion Brown mishandled oh. it, but then takes it right back away from Howell. And now two on two in Donovan Gregory, the poster. See the athleticism of Gregory, 6'4 guard. Unfortunate play there for South Alabama. Isaiah Gator for three, the answer on the other end. Already three threes for South Alabama here early in the first 10 minutes. And a body by Four, Gator. Excuse me. Christopher Mattis was outside and Gator. Ooh, a little knee bump, maybe, and IG, Nickel Donner. Tate, Absent, and Harkham back into the lineup for the Mountaineers, who trail by five. Jump pass to Absent, nobody fake. stopped him, and yeah. Smurf Millender trying to... Big strides, he gets to the rim. He may wear a 18 shoe. It doesn't take Absent long to get from uh, the... Sophomore from Pompano Beach, Florida. Comes into tonight with 35 blocks. Makes one of two, it's 28-24. He may not be done growing yet. No. Jones outside to Howell. A little mishandled by Smurf. Yep, slow and down. And Jags will regroup. Bit. You're all right here. Don't have to go too fast. Got a one on one. Turbo for three on line, but can't get the roll. Rebound yanked down by Marsh. Gregory back to Marsh. Mm -hmm. The 10 footer mm -hmm. on the way. Back of the iron, no good. Numbers. See the hustle coming from Abson, but, Al but uh, South Alabama able to control. Turbo trying to get it to Howell, a whistle and a foul underneath. 22 on the shot clock. Another out under here, Coach Richie Riley always looking to score good defense at the time by the black and gold. Jags led by as many as eight. App was able to have a 10-0 run and take a three-point lead at one point. Shot is off the mark, and App State with a chance to cut it to two, maybe one. Bump, no foul. Howell with the rebound. Officials letting him play now. As you see, Joe Lindsay explaining to Coach Kearns what happened. There's only been 16 fouls. This is a conference game. You're going to see a lot less calls, a lot more physicality in league play. And most people will tell you, as long as you're consistent, you're going to let him play. Let him play for the 40 minutes, no problem. Millender with some space. Can't get it to go. Gregory there for the board. Jack's now 11 of 21 from the field. App 10 of 17. Can't fault either team for the way they're shooting the basketball right now. Very clean game offensively and defensively. Not a lot of turnovers, a lot of shot making, not a lot of rebounds. There's Tate. Three pointer on the way, no good. App now one of three outside the arc. Jags are four of seven from three point range. 
Gator, spin move, avoids the double team, but can't get the foul. finish. And absent there for the defensive rebound. Donovan Gregory, spin move of his own. Nice dish to Tate. Up and under. What a move by Miles Tate. He's with, got four. With the little smooch off the glass. <laughs> and English. I mean, he went up and was almost on the ground. Threw it up, spun it. Little kiss. Smurf. Front iron no good. Harkham there for the board. Now a chance to tie or take the lead. A couple of bodies on the floor. And now numbers for App State. Gregory left alone from three-point range. Back of the iron no good. Turbo didn't get it cleanly, but does finally control in South Alabama basketball. And this is conference action. There's guys breathing hard. You'll see Coach Riley slow it down. You can see that conference action is a little bit different, more intense sometimes. Right now, that's one of those first possessions where it's hard to catch your breath. And there goes Turbo just attacking the rim. Good set. Just remember back early in the year when you know, it took him a minute to figure out, you know, was he going to play the point a lot, trying to figure out Smurf Millinder? Well, Turbo has settled into of his attacking mentality as a senior and a leader for this team. He is three for three from two point range, one for two outside the arc, and now four for four from the free throw line. So 11 points for Turbo Jones. Jags push their lead back to four. Double team, and it doesn't matter for Miles Tate. Yeah. Boy, he's had some highlight reels tonight, hasn't he? Yeah, and if you look at the shot chart for App State, it is all around the basket. Just either block, they're attacking, and got to figure out a way to limit some of those. But as long as the Jags are continuing to score, everything would be great. But if those lulls come, how can you keep App State from scoring at that rim? Jones. Well, yep. Trying to get the foul off of Donovan Gregory. Got off balance, got overextended, got his feet too wide. Young kids out there, keep that base together. Showed it with the part. Thought about the three instead, takes the two nice from the baseline, and that's a good move, Terrence Harkham. Yeah, got to this jump stop, and then you see sometimes you beat your defender and then rise up with a little floater over the big before the big can get there. Nice finish by 2-3. That's five for Harkham. We're tied at 30. Just a shade over five minutes to go here, first half. Second game of the Sunbelt Conference season for these two teams. So glad to see Sunbelt Conference play here. The non-conference is fun, but man, it's just a different level when you hit conference play. League play is always more intense, partner, no matter what league you're playing in. Gator can't get it to go. Tate with the rebound. Teams know each other, played each other last year. And, uh, you know, at last year, South Alabama ended App State season in the tournament, or uh, in the uh, conference season, Sunbelt tournament. Gator on the run out, can't get the bank to go. Tate with a rebound, and now all by himself, C.J. Huntley. And that will cause a timeout for... Now that length of App State around the rim is giving South Alabama some problems. If you take away the three-point shots of South Alabama, those four made, um, this game would be a wider gap, a wider lead for App State. South Alabama needs to score at the rim some more and keep App State from scoring at the rim themselves. Bargrave back into the lineup. Gives it to Keering, left side. Jump stop. And Keering boy. gets it to go. Atta Marshall boy. Keering. Covers some ground, 20. From the wing to the 10. Keering out of Australia, a senior forward. Now playing defense up high on Justin Abson. And Turbo able to knock it away. Turbo Jones can't get the finish to go. Abson, Don't get strong foul. rebound. Yeah, but you don't want to compound it by getting a foul, a cheap one. Good transition defense by South Alabama here. See if you can get a stop. Gregory draws a double team. Now great ball movement. C.J. Huntley outside the arc, no good. And the rebound tipped to Turbo. And Smurf Millinder, Jags do not have the numbers. Keering, who can shoot a three. Now will drive right baseline. He'll get fouled. That'll go on C.J. Huff. Rim over and over in the guard play. Turbo Jones, Smurf Millinder, and Isaiah Gator did what they wanted. Kieran came off the bench in the second half and made a couple of big threes, and it was just a huge opening conference win on the road for the Jags. How about the drive by Smurf Millinder? Jags back on top. Need a stop here for South Alabama. Anything's been a good half by both teams, but you know, right now these last couple of two, three minutes, which team can extend out, maybe get a little baby run? There's a guy we talked about earlier, Manis from that corner. Manis for three. Hangs out in that corner, man. You gotta know where two is. 
his first bucket of the game. And app on top by one. Jags looking for the answer on the other end. Under three to go, first half. Millender, jump stop, short from the right baseline. And the rebound pulled down by Miles Tate. It's only his third rebound, but it seems like Tate's had about eight or nine, doesn't it? He's, I mean, he's been all over the place. He's all over the place. He's active. He's a good defender. Now, he's the guy that made all, of, all the threes you mentioned against Auburn. Um, and there he is again, and he likes to attack the rim and create. That time might have got hit. Shot clock under 10. Doesn't matter for Harkham. He hits a three. Back-to-back -back threes by App State. Gives them a four-point lead. Yeah, one of those bang-bang plays to where the ball got kind of sideways in the middle, bounced App State's way, knocked down the three. No pass is easy, but Millender able to take it away from Tate. Gator back to Millender. Shot clock now under 10. Margrave trying to bullet oh, pass pass. underneath to Gator. He's fouled. Well, how about the pass? <laughs> <laughs> Always in the right place. IG has really gotten when he plays off the ball now to where he cuts from that wing on the drive, especially from. Howell and Jones back in for South Alabama. Gator, an 83% free yeah. throw shooter, hits them both. And it's 38-36, under two, first half. It's amazing what happens when you see one go in. App State shooting 59% from the field. There's a kickball by Jones. Yeah. That double BODU in the second half, and you're seeing App State have some problems with it as well. A couple of kickballs, a couple of turnovers. But App is five of their last seven from the field. South Alabama just two for There's 11 the from the There's field, their last couple of trips down the court. There's Tate. Jump stop, good. Mm, little fader, man. Tate. Get to that jump stop. He's got only one turnover. Played 57 games in the Big East, did Tate, and uh, that's a lot of experience now stepping and coming to App State. And, 12 has settled in well for the black and gold. At 18 starts in a couple of years at Butler, there's Ethan Heiser on the other end with the answer. <laughs> a big shot, and how about IG with the dish. So Kaiser's first points, and it's 40 to 39, App with the lead. Great Tate team. double teams, gets it to Brown, back to Tate, and you see that defensive intensity ramping up for South Alabama. The big showing, the big hedge, good block almost there. But That's a great effort by C.J. Huntley, though, never giving up on the ball. When you have those two bigs like Huntley and Absin, Spillers right around the rim with such good hands, it's hard to keep them from scoring. But there's a guy who can score around the rim and use it as well. Isaiah Gator brings it back to one. That's 11 points for Gator. Turbo with 11. Spillers on the bench for App. He has 10. Mm. Alley oop. CJ Huntley with the flush. He's got six. Yeah, and Coach Richie Riley thought it might be an illegal screen there. Mike Nance wasn't buying it. And you'll see South Alabama here try to get one last shot and either tie it or keep it a one possession game. Probably go here with seven. There goes Gator. Mm -hmm. Off the glass. Isaiah Gator's got it. And App. Looking for the easy one, Manis can't get it to roll. I think it would have counted had it gone much more between these two teams as the second half now underway. Switch ends of the court, and App State trying to add to their lead here. Tate to Absent. Absent back to Donovan Gregory. Gets the bucket and one. Donovan Gregory. And one good start for App State. South Alabama shot the ball so well in the first half. And here's some full court pressure by App State trying to dictate the tempo a little bit. South Alabama has got to get buckets in this half court early in this second half and not let this lead grow to nine or 10. 47-43, App State with a three pointer good the double. old fashioned way to start the second half. Reverse it. There's Kaiser, had a three earlier, trying to get a screen from Howell, can't get it to go. Great defensive possession here this time by the Mountaineers. Shot clock down and had to force up the three, no good. As Spillers there for the rebound and App State trying to make it Ooh, six, inside maybe me. seven. Tate, another traffic pass, gets it to Abson, he'll be fouled. It's ready. That has been one of the things they're always up. And that's Tanner Smith, one of the assistants. I knew him when he was at Mississippi State. He works with some of those post guys. While wow, they've got a lead right now, South Alabama has got to offset that. Absent is the guy to foul, only a 43% mm -hmm. free throw shooter. Misses them both. Now one for four from the strike tonight 
and it stays 47-43. App State on top. Turbo with 11 to Gator, to Kaiser. Back to Gator. And now Howell only has two points on the night. Trying to make it four, yeah. and he does. He might have, might have gotten hit. If you can get that ISO action outside the block and get some buckets, I think the Jags can go there with Margrave, with Howell, um, occasionally using that link and getting the link of App State away from the basket. Good back cut by Gregory. Now go. Can't get the shot. But boy, App State does such a great job of slashing to the basket, and then those passes that are not deliberate at all, they're so quick and on time most of the time. There's Kaiser, three-pointer, no good. Rebound tracked down by Donovan Gregory. Yeah, App State's bringing a double on Isaiah Gator every time he gets on the right side of the floor down to that low post up outside the block, trying to get it out of number two's hands. Might have a turnover here. App's able to track it down. Turnovers, not bad at all. Only seven for App State, four for South Alabama. They'll go inside, and there was a lane for App State. And Spillers able to get to it, and he's got 12. They score from behind the basket, around the short corners, bringing the bigs in from the elbows, and that time just scoring again from the baseline behind the basket. Lefties can do that from the right side of the floor. Big Gator, shot. Three-pointer, no good. Howell right there mm. for the putback. Thomas Howell. Back-to-back -back buckets, 49-47. Early block out, young kids out there for Howell. He got his body in a position. Look at this pass. <laughs> Just beautiful. Spillers. Good offense, man. The high percentage shot for Travion Spillers. He's got 14. The spacing and the timing of App State, just knowing when to cut, where your teammate's going to be, when the defender's head's going to be turned. And here comes that double we talked about. Got to get it reversed. Turbo working on Tate. Tough. Strong move, Woo. but the putback for Turbo oh. Jones. He's got 13. Play big. Zero. Nice tip. Understanding. And I'll tell you what that double is also doing. It's only letting Isaiah Gator touch the ball once every possession. When the ball's coming out of his hands, someone else is having to create for South Alabama. That's the strategy for Coach Kearns in the half court. Howell knocks it away. Kaiser can't get the loose ball. Now Gregory, good ball movement. Mm -hmm. Harkham for three. Here it's Harkham. Man, how many times have we seen a 50-50 ball, a loose ball bounce App State's way and then find that could have been a charge there. Harkham in double digits now. He's got 11. Spillers with 14. Jones and Gator, double figures for the Jags, each with 13 apiece. Gator looking for 15, but cut off by Harkham. Gets it to Jones. He'll take the three. It's not his game. Not close. Yeah, that, the jab step contested there. Maybe had a little bit more time. Might have put it on the deck, try to create a foul. Mm. The unforced turnover, trying to get it in front of the App State bench. A little miss. To win the league or finish second. App State, a lot of people believe this is a tournament team. I'd love for the Sunbelt Conference. They've been a one-bid league for a while Man, now. It, it, and I, I think there's such good basketball in this league. I'd love to see at least two have the opportunity at the end of the day. Well, that Auburn win will help the conference that App State had for sure. Now, this is the guy that South needs to get going in the second half. Made a couple of threes on the road at ODU and has made shots at home, has Margrave. Take outside the arc. App State three for their last three. Margrave will take a seat as Elijah Ormiston comes back in for South. Gator to Smurf, it'll get it to Ormiston, right side. Yeah, Gator. Zone, zone look here, two, three zone look here for App State, first time tonight, and there's IG. We like him in that elbow area against the zone. He found the spacing and is able to put it in. Gator now with 15. And App State's lead cut to three. But, but doesn't it seem, partner, like this is a game like South has played at home, you know, feeling good about things, you know, maybe waiting for that South run um, to get this thing tied, but you got to get some stops in the half court. Yeah. Stop Harkham from hitting along that baseline. 56-51, yeah. Harkham now with 13. Gator, again looking for the answer, double team, goes to Turbo. Oh, has it. Stolen away by Harkham, two on one, and the alley oop. The pass. How about Trayvon Spillers again? Great feed from Harkham, 
And that is with authority, 58-51. Yeah, the two-on-one young kids out there, Harkham, got wide at the end and went high. Got wide and went high. We'll see it on the replay. That needs to go in for Smurf. And it doesn't. Rebound by Spillers. App State now five of their last five from the field. Time Trying to make out. it six for six, and they do. Again, a traffic pass, C.J. Huntley. At two right now, but Tate and Huntley both a bucket away from joining the ranks of the double figures. Nobody really in danger or, or close, I should say, other than Spiller. Spiller's got seven rebounds, trying to get a double-double. He's already got 16 points. So Spiller's well within range with 13.30 to go in the ball game. Trying to get his sixth double-double in a row. 2-3 zone from App State. The last couple positions going to try to make South make some shots. Contested, good possession there, but you got a rebound out of it. Black and gold. Ormiston with the rebound. Fouls really, fouls haven't been an issue as we talked about. Excellent officiated game, letting the kids play, teams play. And right here, Joe Lindsay's right on top of this one. Yep, all sorts of, I see what he saw. It looked kind of like a small shove. The feet did get tangled up and he might have called um, a shove in the background. But hey, we'll give Joe one, man. He used to give me those flop calls all the time. Gator for three. Yes. And you got to take a advantage. South Alabama took advantage. That's what you got to do. Make big shots. And here's that zone that I love for South Alabama. I've been waiting for two weeks to see it. <laughs> Let's see the length. Coach Riley, and bring it out. Riley is a big man-to-man -man guy. Doesn't like the zone, but with the personnel that he's got right now, Maxwell Land is out for the year. Judah Brown hasn't played since early this year. Mm -hmm. so fade away by Tate is good. But you've got some personnel issues. And Land is a guy that averaged 10 points a game before he got hurt against Jacksonville State early. And you'll take that shot there, contested by Tate. I mean, you got one of your best defenders, Turbo Jones, guarding him. Nice pass, nice cut. Um, but in this zone action, you know, how how many films do, do coaches go back and watch? South hasn't shown this in a while. Coach Riley, I talked to him. He said he didn't want to show it until he had to in conference play. And now, what better time than down six at home with 12 to go? And I got a rebound out of it, though. Man, just misses the three. That was their first miss in the last eight shots from the field. App State shooting 64% from the field. And, now there is and the South Alabama guards have had some issue, um, but it is, it is amazing, but that has to be a scout from Coach Riley letting his guards know, hey, these guys are coming third in the nation in blocks. Look at this finish. Turbo Speaking of has blocks. it blocked. There oh you go. Goodness. Donovan Come Gregory on, Pat. on cue. Donovan oh Gregory my. says, all right, Mr. Announcer boy, I'll take care of you. Look at the length, though. If you look at the length of Hunt, like, and you look at the length um, that's just on the floor always, you know, especially also when you're talking about spillers being on the floor sometimes. Uh, it's just, it's it's a long, long team. Absent. You're never going to not have length. South Alabama staying in this zone, Pat. App State has only has scored one bucket against it so far on a contested jump shot. Brown the pass in traffic. Trayvon Spillers, another high percentage. He's got 18. Yeah, and they attack from that short, short corner below the block behind the backboard as well as any team I've seen all year, especially with his pocket bounce passes. There's another, another block. block by Donovan Gregory. So four. Appalachian State, and that's a lot of length in this conference that people have to deal with. You might have a matchup here for Smurf that he'll like to exploit. Like Ormiston, that. right there. The bucket and one, Elijah Ormiston. That's the third foul on Trayvon Spillers. Free throw is good, a three-pointer the old-fashioned way, and it's 64 to 59. Who gets in the bonus first in this game is going to be a big key. Both teams with three team fouls. South Alabama is seven of seven from the line. Can that margin grow on free throw makes? Zone still here for the Jags. Who Gregory just walked. Brown, alley-oop, works again. <laughs> Big smile from Trayvon Spillers. He's having a game. Yeah, and you see Coach Kearns ready for the zone, scoring from the baseline and backside with lobs and penetration, getting the same looks at the rim as they were against the man or the Mountaineers. Now the Mountaineers in that zone as Smurf is fouled. Christopher Manis will throw fresh 20 on the shot clock out under here 
Simple stuff, typically gets baskets. There's Ormiston double teamed outside the Gator to Howell, who can take the three. Smurf, who you would think would be a three-point shooter, defense, really man. likes going inside, and there you go, Smurf Millender. Don't let the nickname fool you. Four plays bigger than he is and plays bigger than a freshman. IG, oh man, got to grab that 50-50 right there. That's a great job by Spillers to take it away. Good court awareness by the Juco transfer. And another opportunity as we go under 10 in Mobile and now a push from Turbo Jones. That's his first. It's going man-to-man -man on misses um, or on side outs and zone on makes. But you may see Richie Riley settle back into this man with the success Coach Kearns has had with set plays the last couple of trips down against that zone. Here comes a double. Double team. Howell almost got to it, but C.J. Huntley there. Huntley trying to get that backdoor cut. cut. And there it is, Gregory. Wow. Timing, Pat. The timing of the dribble to the left side of the floor and then a pass fake. Just you can tell it's been worked on. A lot of spacing on the block. Millender that able to get to it back. In. Turbo Jones for three. Big shot. Turbo has got 16. South Alabama continues to answer, Pat. They're not going away. Back to man-to-man -to -man now. Coach Riley going to his bread, his bread and butter. Winding to nine minutes left, another double team. Ormiston yeah. takes it away. Elijah Ormiston by himself. Oh, the layup is good. It's a two-point game. Two-point game. And that'll get the crowd Ooh. into it as well. Mobile, get rocking. Sunbelt play, here we are. You saw that stat line, three for three for Elijah Ormiston. Don't foul here if you're Smurf. Xavion Brown to Cut pass. Good possession Gregory. so far. Good possession so far. Got to finish it out. Got to finish it out and get the stop. Oh, Absolutely. Didn't hit the rim. That's a great defensive stand by South Carolina. Manis out. Jags trailed at half. Now trying to tie or take the lead. Floater by Gator. Gets another oh, opportunity. Man. He's fouled, and Isaiah Gator will go to the free throw line. That's a foul on here. More importantly, that's the fifth team foul. If South Alabama can get this guy, if they can get Turbo Jones, many would say would be an upset at home. Absolutely. Gator, second of two, and the Jags nine for nine from the free throw line. We're tied with 8.08 to go. Set land partner. Love it. Might be here a while. Jags on a 7-0 run over the last minute and a half. Tate, nice nifty dish. Gets it back. Tate around, Smurf. The floater no good. Go Millinder with the rebound. Good decision, freshman. Didn't have the numbers. He would have taken that all the way early in the year. Gator, as bodies fly, and they'll call a charge on Isaiah Gator. Defensive positioning was key by my Tate. But one thing that I love about what Coach Kearns has done is we've seen South Alabama all year with Turbo Jones, with Tabe, with Isaiah Gator, dribbled the ball down to, you know, wing extended, block extended, and then run your offense through your guard from down below the elbow or free throw line. App State is sending a double and getting the ball out of those guards' hands, which is not normal. It only gives 10, 12, 15 seconds left to run your offense.
if you're south. Look for an adjustment on the back side. Maybe Coach Riley getting a cutter coming across when you start seeing these double teams come on Gator and Turbo. So not only does App State miss both free throws, they get a foul on the defensive end. Now South Alabama basketball down two. And something that could loom large. Jags nine of nine from the free throw line. App State four of nine. And there's a foul. Both teams in the bonus now. So South Alabama. G so comfortable in this setting. His team needs him. First is good, so he'll get another one. Some rebounds, some steals. 23 out of the game for the black and gold will be a big deal. Also, Trayvon Spillers is out of the game. He's got four fouls. So those two guys on the bench. First miss by the Jags from the free throw line. So 10 of 11, and it's a one-point App State lead. And, and when do you bring those guys back? And that's a one and one there. You see the experience of Tate again, just kind of work contact to cause the foul. Now Tate at the free throw line. Mm. Can't get it to go. South going bigger here with shooters. Let's see if you can get a penetration and maybe a pitch for a three, couple of reversals. But that's exactly why Kaiser came in to maybe get that double and get a reverse. Gator, Stonewall gets it to Turbo, working off the screen. Turbo looking mm -hmm. for some separation. Good crossover Good move. Defense. Good defense by Absin. Ball. Of Absin. We talked about it around the rim just to get his hands on the ball and keep the ball from going out of bounds off of App State. Huge possession defensively here for South Alabama. Can you get enough stops in the half court? Gregory working on Kaiser. Oh, carry. Too short off defense. the iron. Kaiser with the rebound. Jags trying to get back in the lead. Downhill left. Gator. There he Outside is. to Kaiser. Three-pointer. No good. It's short. Xavion Brown. Check that. Miles Tate with the rebound. Shoot it up just a little hair, Jordan. It was a good look. Keep getting stops if you're the team in white, though. I like this matchup better here than I do Millender out on the front at Tate. A lot of experience between these two guards. They played a lot of college basketball games. Contested shot. Tate can't get it to go. Turbo with the rebound. Great defense by Turbo. Senior. Every possession matters now. It's conference play. About to get to the under four. So a scoring drought for both teams. Jags don't have a field goal in the last four and a half. Scoring drought about two and a half now for App State. Back to the left. Oh, good defense there. Golly, good defense scout by Gregory. And Donovan Gregory, one of the best in the conference. Isaiah Gator Man. says, I can still score on you. 71-70 South. It just shows the experience to understand how you're being guarded if you're Gator. He's not as good going right, but just jumped up and made a shot because his team needed it. 25 for the IG Real creator. A good backdoor cut by Gregory. And Gregory fouled as he goes to the basket. And he to school just across town, but 25 the season high. Donovan Gregory trying to... Get App State back to a tie, and he does. He'll have and they were four for 10 before that free throw. Now five for 11 is App State. Right now, the ball is going to be in number two's hands. And if it's not in number two, Isaiah Gator's hands, it's going to somehow find its way to number zero's hands coming go, going right. But it's going to be these two guys coming off ball screens, trying to create, trying to find shooters or finish at the rim. Gator, short. Gregory can't get to it. I believe he was fouled by Howell. Just amazing how teams you see scouts come into play every possession, especially when you get into league play. And this is going to be a free throw shooting contest. Billers and Harcum both have four fouls. They're on the floor for App State. Smurf Millender has four for South Alabama. He's on the floor and has the basketball now. It's App State on top by three. No empty possessions offensively if you are the Jags here. Something downhill, something pitching, or something at the line. Get to a jump stop. Got to get a good look, though. App State's really been good in the second half in the half court. Ormison. Get up and under. Man, I'll tell you what, Man, Elijah Ormiston, he's got 10. It seems like he's a different guy every night. It was, care it was carrying at the uh, ODU game off the bench, and now it's Ormiston coming in. But I like what three's done defensively out front, very active all evening. And the answer on the other end for App State. Now a top also on the floor for South. It's Gregory, Tate, Absin, Harkham, Spillers for App State. 
Up the post up from Howell. <laughs> Parkham says that, get it out of here. <laughs> he said, I don't care if I got four <laughs> fouls. To bring the big out and maybe score, find a cutter, looking, trying to find 13 off of this right block. Now it's going to be IG time. It'll be Gator. See how they're scouting him right there, and they're yeah. not letting him get to that left side. Excellent job by 11. Turbo, dish inside to Howell, and he jams it in. Sure play. Excellent finish by the ULM transfer. It's getting serious down here in L.A. L.A., lower Alabama, for those App State fans watching. There's Harkham, double team, no good. Absent, rebound, man. great Ooh. offensive rebound and put back. We're back to a three-point game. Appalachian State with the rebounding prowess here down the stretch, proving to be big. Jones working on Harkham, and Harkham gets the foul. Turbo with the bucket. He's four for four from the free throw line, make it five for five. And we're 0-0 zero, zero with 1.44 to go. That was Love it. That one was slushy the way it went in. Big stop right here for the Jags. Maybe one of those situations of who has the ball last. Minute and a half to go. Don't get back cut here late in the shot clock. Miles Tate, double team. There's the double. Excellent job by Howell there. Going to be a contested shot here. Tate inside. Now a whistle and a foul on Armiston. Well, that away for App State. Shot is on the way and no good. And while I tell you, free throws for the black and gold tonight, but the Jags will have the ball after the made free throw here. The Spillers gets it to go. So App State on top, 79-78, winding down to a minute. Mitchell Center in Mobile, Alabama. Pat Greenwood, Bart Heisch, our ESPN crew. Glad you're with us. And boy, we got a good one. Zone look here by App State. Coach Kern switching it up with less than a minute to go. And Turbo crunch time. Drives. Oh, man. Lost Can't it. get it to go. Manus the rebound. He thought he was going to draw contact and get hit, but that time Absent didn't go up to high point the ball. Surprise Turbo a little bit. Got to get a stop still if you're a Jag. App State still with two timeouts, south with one. Neither. Taking it right now, Gregory to Manis outside. Shot clock at 10, nice cut, nice dish. Tate, he's got 12. How about the pass by Manis, the ability to be ready to deliver for two. Gator on the other end, 81-80, Gator. Turbo almost took it away, but Gregory there, Tate with the basketball. All right, double here, double here, yep. There's and a foul. He's fouled by Ormiston. So that's the second personal on Ormiston, but that'll sit here. Over three, but it doesn't matter now because these are the ones that matter. Now he's over four. So that drastically. Push the last two. See if he can take a deep breath here. And that one is perfect. Yeah. So 82 80. Jags with a shot clock off. Down two. Zone look again for App State. Gator. Penetrating pitch. The floater, too short, rebound being fought Ooh. for. Gator's got it again. Got it. Three seconds to Howell. The dunk with 1.9 to go. We're tied at 82. Half court. Gregory looking for him. Baseball pass. Oh, he goes look. to Tate. He's got a look from three. Oh, Tate, no good. Ooh. Wow. Five matchups in conference play. Everyone in the conference does it. It just so happens that App State has to do it very early in the campaign. So playing extras. Tate to Absent, back to Tate. Kick ball by Thomas Howell. Is hedging ball screens, doubling ball screens, plays so hard, always gets his hands and feet in the passing lane. We've seen two or three different kick balls tonight from South Alabama, a couple from number 13. Look at the help there. Loose ball, knocked out of bounds, last touch by who? Black and gold. Watch this out under here, maybe some back screen action. Instead, it'll be absent oh my. to Mantis. Open three, no good. Howell with the rebound. The transfer from ULM gets it to Turbo. That's South Alabama's first crack at it here in OT.
82-82. Ormiston drag. for three. Too hard off the glass. And Manis with the rebound. Yeah, you saw IG get penetrating downhill, pitch it back out for Ormiston. You like that shot if you're the Jags. Now here's that matchup with Tate on the freshman. He got space, got separation, but the rebound by C.J. Huntley, and he will go to the rebounds. It's 82 to 82 in overtime. 30 to 30 on the rebounds. Turnovers are close. It's uh, these teams, I think, will be relevant come uh, late February, early March. If they play like this, there's no doubt about it, partner. 84-82, App State. Jags looking for their first bucket in extras. Gotta Under keep score. scoring. Got to keep scoring, though. Gator to Ormiston. Back to Gator, three-pointer, short, rebound, good positioning by Huntley and App State with a chance to lengthen their lead. Couple of three-point shots early, haven't gone down in this overtime. We talked about the shot-making ability. Those two haven't gone in. I like this matchup for Tate. Good block. Blocked away by Ormiston, but another opportunity for App State. No reset. Drive by Gregory, can't get it to go. Great There's forward. Howell with a defensive rebound. Man, 13 plays so hard for the team in white. Howell up top. Going right. Gator to Smurf. Outside the turbo, thought about the three, then thought about the two, but Tate with nice defensive recovery. Still working on turbo. Now here comes a double team. Yeah, they're not going to let IG or turbo get into there. Oh, that might be the foul. Smurf can't get it. Absent rebound. Straight up defense. Only one bucket here in extra so far, and it belongs to App State. They lead 84 82 as we're at two and a half to go. These are the times the strength coaches in the offseason talk about being tougher than the other team, finding a way to get a basket. When you're tired, who can step up and make a shot? Can it be two? Mantis for three. It's Christopher Mantis, the junior out of Indiana. Great use of the shot fake partner to clear himself. Gator has it knocked away. Good defense by Donovan Gregory. Uh, area wing down, and uh, that's his spot. He likes it from there. Really need a basket here if you're South Alabama. Stop the bleeding, and there's a steal. Yep, it's Miles Tate. They were trying to get it to Ormiston. Tate took it himself, and now the dish in traffic gets it to C.J. Huntley. He's got it. If you can get a quick bucket here. Excellent help there by Tate. Wow, what great help by Tate to help his partner out, Gregory. Tate and Gregory, from what I've seen, are going to be probably as good of two-way guards in this league that you'll see at both of those guard positions. Very dynamic on the defensive end. And get it correct, but that play by Tate allowed this to happen, and then you saw Gregory also hit the ball. This could go either way. I've heard for their first bucket in overtime. Yeah, App State uh, missed a couple of threes early, maybe some tired legs, and App State has just continued to settle in and guard, and that's the shot they've made Gator yeah. make going right. He made that one. Gator, they're going to live with that. They're going to live with him going right, shooting that jump shot, man. Especially if he's got 29 points. Yeah, but, I mean, he can have 99 as long as your team's got 100. It's true. <laughs> Five-point lead, Tate. Manis back to Tate. So quick on the right slide. Great help. Huntley. Great help. Spillers turnover. Ormus has got smart it. here. Good. All right, you're okay here. One you minute stay. to go. Gator trying to get it to Ormiston. Can't get it to go. Ormiston with the foul. Gator, for the first time, really kind of second. Now, going to the line with these two big free throws with less than a minute to go. He's been solid. He's been really solid for this team. 12 points, four rebounds. That free throw. Second of two on the way and good as well, 91-84. He's played a lot of games for this team, and you know, it could have probably, it could have gone in the portal as a lot of these guys. They wanted to stay together and come back, do something special. He started all but one game last year, did Huntley, for the Appalachian State Mountaineers, showing their prowess of coming on the road, trying to get one early in the conference season. Jags needing some instant offense. There's that Gator, double. double team, turbo. Good shot, Faye. Step back three. Turbo Jones can't get it. Gregory there for the rebound. App State, as we wind down, 35 seconds. Tate still in the backcourt. 
Gets it across the timeline with two seconds to spare. We'll have to foul here. Tate doesn't give it up. Ormiston knocks it away. Shot clock at 10. It's a lot of time that's been wasted. And App State, barring some sort of miracle, will get a very hard fought win here. Can't do here now if you're South Alabama. You can't foul. Um, you know, how are you going to get possessions? I mean, this is just going to be a direct drive into the basket here. Try to get a bucket. Absent, not there. Rebound, South Alabama, under 10. Smurf for three. No good. And Absent with the rebound, and that will do it. What a